Hey, yo, straight off the top, <laughs> 1,000 bottles of baby oil is crazy. Crazy. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. What's happening, people? It's the homie Smith, Four Hundred, coming at you straight off the Ave, and this is Smith Reacts. One time for all the subscribers, man. Salute to y'all wherever you at, all over the world. And if you made it to this video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe, man. New content daily. So check it out, y'all. Diddy denied bail. Denied bail, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. How this is law everything's just tumbling down bro like the walls is just falling in on him and not only him but the industry bro because imagine all the people the others who may be indicted imagine the others you know what i'm saying who are on those tapes who allegedly he says they consented but like bro that aside you got caught with rifles with the cereal scratched off when he was, you know what I'm saying, when he got booked, allegedly he had the, what, they said it was pink powder or whatever, like, he was, he was getting his druggie on, so it's like, you know, and then these are the things that they use in order to keep him locked up, you feel what I'm saying, they ain't want to give him the bail, because they like, look, he out there, he on them substances, he got the power, like, that'll give him freedom to do this, that, and the third, so look, man. It's getting real for Diddy, like, I am it's past getting real, it's real, like, it's real. Ish done hit the fan, but look, man, a lot of people are wondering what's going on with the folks in Hollywood. Folks in Hollywood must be getting nervous. It's to the point where this ish is on, like, even the news is saying it. So without further ado, man, um, we finna see what they talking about, man. Uh, Diddy indicted. It says they are, there are a lot of people in Hollywood who are probably worried, and I agree with that sentiment. So look, let's see what it is. But from music mogul to an inmate, Sean Diddy Combs is denied bail on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering. TMZ has been following this case for months now, and Charles Lottie Bodier is joining us to dive deeper into what is happening. Charles, I mean, t shocking is an understatement when you hear the details of this case. What are your thoughts after hearing the indictment yesterday? Uh, you know, good morning, Brian and Natalie. I got to tell you, um, my thoughts reading the 14 page indictment yesterday <laughs> were that um, there is going to be there are a lot of people in Hollywood who are probably worried about uh, which Diddy parties they were at and what was going on. Uh, that's not to say that they were necessarily even involved in any of the things uh, that are alleged by the U.S. Attorney's Office. But if you're at that party and it turns out that that's when uh, he set up one of these freak off uh, sex parties or that it was going on uh, in another room and you didn't know about it. There's a good chance that you're going to be called by the U.S. attorney's office if you're and certainly if you were involved, um, you would get a call because they're going to want to know everything you want to know and may even want you to be a witness. I just think that's the crazy part, yo, like a lot of people got to be sitting back thinking to themselves, like think about all the rappers, especially like I ain't trying to snitch. You feel me? Or I didn't know. Look, Meek Mill probably. <laughs> Meek Mill probably. Look, man, it's a couple of them that's probably, you know, probably worried right now. You know, we're just starting to scratch the surface of what this case, uh, who it's, this case is going to touch and involve. And the, uh, and the, the feds have said that this is, remains an open investigation. There could be more charges for Diddy. There could be more charges for other people involved. Um, and usually the way this works is once they find out other people are involved or were witnesses, they bring them in and they sort of lean on them. And it's sort of like you're going to cooperate with us or there is a possibility that you could face charges. So uh, this is going to be a, um, a, a slow developing uh, a case here because we're just getting started. I, and I don't see how this trial begins anytime before next year. Are there are a lot of wild allegations in. They finna be like, look, you trying to be a cellmate? You trying to go with him? <laughs> hey, man. Tough. Those documents that came out yesterday, including 1,000 bottles of baby oil. What surprised you the most about what you read yesterday? 
Yeah, I mean that one, Brian was a uh, was definitely an alarming uh, graph of the uh, indictment when you read that that uh, when they raided, I believe it was the Miami home where they found uh, a thousand bottles of, and they said that these were items that were the baby oil, bro. One thousand bottles, bro, of baby oil. They said they found that AR down there too. They found the Rakatao down there too. Buddy down there living like Scarface with the Rakatao and the and the and the Yayo and the baby oil and the free coughs. Tweaking, bro. Tweaking. Were used uh, at the free coughs. There were also uh, large numbers uh, amounts of drugs. They said cocaine, ketamine, Molly, uh, GHB. The rape. He thought he was Scarface. This man crazy drug um so you know they said that the house according to the feds that was stocked for these parties that were going on and then to read uh their description of how uh did he they as they say lured women into joining these parties and they say that he would meet them or lure them get to know them and lure them in thinking they would think that there was going to be a romantic relationship with him uh and then it would turn out that they would be at these freak offs uh, where they would be forced to have or drugged and forced to have sex with male uh, prostitutes that he was bringing in. And that's one of the counts that he's facing also is the uh, transportation of individuals for a purpose of prostitution. So look, I just want to say, <clears throat> excuse me, Lord is a very predatorial word. Like <laughs> he lured them to their demise. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he lured them into the darkness. Like, you feel me? Like, Lord is, 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 you know, such a, you know what I mean? It just, it just, it just sounds a certain way. That's, it just sounds dark. He lured them to Really alarming allegations uh, laid out in court. Diddy, of course, has pled not guilty to all of it. Uh, and then the real kicker for him at the end of the day was that uh, the judge said you will be held without bail. And that means... However long it takes for this trial to begin, he will be uh, in a federal detention facility in Brooklyn and not a very nice one. Um, in fact, a fairly notorious one. So you got to figure it. He wants out of there and he wants out as soon as possible. We're in this era right now, Charles, of men with power falling from grace in Hollywood. And when I think about Harvey Weinstein, you know, that was an open secret in Hollywood for a very long time about what, what he was doing um, with victims. It, was this also the case with, with P. Diddy that the people kind of knew this was going on? I will say this. There, there, were, there were always been whispers about um, his power uh, and how he wielded that power. Um, but I get, can't say I heard any whispers about these uh, these freak offs. And it's really um, alarming. You know, we were talking about it yesterday. One, these you know, these parties had a lot of individuals. In fact, the U.S. attorney's office says that uh, the parties would sometimes go on for days. So there are a lot of individuals involved. Uh, and yet th and they say this has been going on for more than 10 years. And yet we didn't hear about that. So that means that all the people that were involved, according to the feds, were that he managed to keep them all quiet, that nobody would speak about it. And that does sort of speak to um, the kind of power he wielded and, and the fear that people had of him. We were also talking about the fact that, that um, the beating of Cassie, which was captured mm -hmm. on the hotel surveillance. And that power and that fear is the reason they locked him up. That's why he, he wasn't out on bail, because they felt like he could still kind of somewhat you know, use that power. Crazy work. Owens video. That was um, what seven, six years ago, and alleged when nobody knew about it. Nobody heard about it. Think about all the people that were at the hotel who may have known about it. People who saw the surveillance video and never spoke about it. Uh, and like you said, we're in an era where when things like that happen. People speak out about it. So the fact that no one did uh, and that it only took this really Cassie's lawsuit before any of this started coming out, it does kind of speak to um, the, the power that he wielded and that the fact that nobody wanted to cross him.
And Charles, what do you think happens next in this case? Uh, members of uh, Sean Combs' family have been ordered to give up their passports. He's currently in jail. What do you think happens from here? Um, well, the, his attorneys, the first thing that's going to happen is today, his attorneys are going back into court. They've appealed the bail ruling. Uh, and like I said, I'm sure he wants out. And that's their first job right now is to get him out. They've offered a $50 million package for bail. Um, that was rejected yesterday, but they're going to take another swing at it today. Uh, and then after that, um, what happens, you know, look, you know, he did surrender his passport to his lawyer. We should say the way his, law, his team put it out originally, they made it sound like he had turned it over to the authorities. He had turned over his passport back in April to his lawyer, as did his children and his mother. And I, the, their point was they wanted to make the case to the court that, look, we're cooperating here. He is not a flight risk. Um, and they feel like that the U.S. Attorney's Office undermined that by raiding his hotel on Monday night and arresting him when they say he was in New York because he was more than willing to surrender. In fact, the plan was for him to surrender on Tuesday. And then for some reason, the, uh, the feds decided to arrest him Monday night. Uh, Diddy's attorneys think they did that so that it would look like he wasn't cooperating and then the judge would uh, deny him bail, which as it turns out is what happened. Hmm. Well, Charles, uh, thank you so much for your thoughts on this this morning. You guys always have so much information behind the scenes there. It is uh, 7.13 a.m. in Los Angeles. Thanks for waking up <laughs> early with us. Absolutely, uh, we're, we're, up, we're up early every day. So okay, thank you, sir. You can sir. always reach us here. Sounds good. So there we have it, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me clear my throat. But now, nah, look. Denied bail, first of all, do we feel like he's going to get out? I don't know because it seems like, the you know, the, their reasoning for holding him is going to be the same reasoning. They knew that you turned in the passports. They knew, you know what I'm saying, it's then the third. Now, why they chose to raid? Why they chose to be so aggressive, maybe something else came out. Maybe it's the fact that, you know, more cases is piling up. You feel what I'm saying? Like like I said, Don Richard just filed some ish. And um, maybe there was something within her ish that, you know, lines up with something that may be in what they're already investigating. Like you said, they're still investigating. You know what I mean? Like they said, you know, the uh, the head of the district so you know it's a possibility that things are still ongoing i mean it's it's a fact that things are still ongoing so people should definitely i think people should definitely be you know worried um it's going to be interesting to see who cooperates excuse me cooperates because of the fact that uh <laughs> because of the fact that uh he has so much power and you know He's in such a powerful position and he still has people out here. You know, he still has family. He still has, you know, I'm pretty sure people that would defend him or try to uh, hold him down, to say the least. So, you know, we shall see. But look, this whole Diddy saga, man, again, shout out Gene Deal. He said September. He said Labor Day in another video, but. I saw a clip where there was a specific part, and I remember I I, I did cover that uh, interview, but he said September. So September came, September's here, and he's locked up in September, and they're not trying to let him up as excuse me, let him out as of now. Crazy, but sound off in the comments, man. How you feel about this situation? Is Diddy going to get bail? What's up with the how you how you feel about the thousand bottles of baby oil that's wow that's crazy work that is crazy work shout out academics he pointed out like they ain't find like a thousand rubbers they ain't find like a whole a whole uh <laughs> cabinet full of rubbers or nothing like no protection whatsoever just lube 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 whoa Crazy work, man. That's a that's a freaky that's a freaky and yeah. 
That's a fan if ever there was a fan. Dang. If you made it to this point in the video, sign off, like, and subscribe. This has been Smith's Reacts. If you want to donate to the channel, cash app down below, right over uh, there. Yeah, right up under there. And, uh, yeah, man, we appreciate y'all for subscribing. All the subscribers, we on the way to 5K. We looking past that. We trying to get to 10, so go ahead, help us out. Like the video, you know what I'm saying? Share, you know what I mean? The uh, lives, you know, tap in for the lives. All that ish, man. Show your support. The free support is always, always appreciated and is the, the best. Yes, sir. It's the homie, Mr. 400. This has been Mr. Reacts. Thanks for tuning in wherever you at all over the world. Y'all have a good one. Peace, love, and all out there. Owie.